Hi. Uh, so we just got back from a run not too long ago and really just felt compelled to come on here and share uh, kind of my introductory um, lesson that I did for last night's my edible um, backyard course I had last night. And I just after my run and kind of just seeing, you know, I don't know, people outside wearing masks, um, it just I don't know our just our whole concept of health right now I think is just really twisted and I think we have to get back to the roots so I really felt just like I wanted to come on and share this introductory I wrote because I thought it I don't know kind of powerful so see if it kind of resonates with any of you I'm gonna be kind of looking at my notes <laughs> so we've become filled with a world of conveniences we've become so disconnected from ourselves each other and the earth We've lost century old traditions and knowledge, even big basic skills on how to nourish and support our bodies. We rely on others around us to tell us what to do, what to think, and how to take care of our bodies and how we're feeling. We've forgotten not only our intricate connection to nature, but that we are nature. Today's world relies on quick fixes, magic pills, and someone else to heal us, which lead us to still searching as we never truly heal when we look outward. Our lost connection with nature and spirituality has left us empty, searching for the next big thing to place any of the voids we're feeling and the lack of purpose and meaning in our life. We're full of distractions and busyness. We wear that busy badge always, <laughs> like a badge of honor, that hustle and bustle, and it's just creating more stress and more illness. It allows us to continue, continue to take from the earth rather than give back. It's easy to take when we don't have a sense of relationship. It's there for us to do as we please with it. We are destroying and depleting the earth. Even our medicines meant to heal are not only hurting us, they are unsustainable and unaccessible and are destroying the environment as well. If a vision for a cleaner future exists, for our planet and if there is wisdom for improved ways of living then it is our responsibility to be a part of that momentum there are ways out there there is a different way and we need to be part of this momentum we need to be a part of this shift what if we actually viewed plants and earth as our teachers what if we truly understood the relationship we shared to make any change we need to recognize this intrinsic value of mother earth we depend on plants to survive. Plants are living beings that communicate. They're energy sources, just as we are. They take in our carbon that we exhale and they convert it to oxygen through photosynthesis. <laughs> they clean the air we breathe. They are essential to our life. This beautiful exchange of breath between human and plants is our connection to the natural world, to God, the creator, source energy, Gaia, whatever you want to call it, it is our connection to a spiritual source. We are intricately connected, depending on one another through this breath. And I think that is lost, the importance of this breath, this connection. And I pass so many people outdoors, um, walking, riding bikes, running, wearing masks. And it just made me think that that connection of breath between the natural world is severed. So even more so than it was before, we are even losing our connection through that breath exchange. Plants give more than they take. They're always giving compared to humans that seem to be always taking. We need to shift the focus away from studying and researching illness and instead focusing on true health and well-being and connection to the earth. We need to be focusing on accessible and environment, environmentally friendly practices that are sustainable instead of adding to the current state of destruction and devastation. But this can be done and it can be done as simply as our own backyard by focusing on weeds, also known as wild edibles, that can completely nourish and sustain us. So that was my introduction to last night's class. And I think we have lost a very important connection to the earth. I think we've lost connection to our spirituality, um, to nature, and we've lost sight of kind of, of true health and what that looks like. We need to shift our focus. We need to shift um, 
what we're relying on, what we're studying. We need to shift studying illness and actually focus on prevention and true optimal health. And there's a quote by, I think it's Thich Nhat Hanh. <laughs> I'm going to end with that because I think it's pretty powerful about the power of plant medicine. If we can see our body as a wonder, we also have the opportunity to see the earth as a wonder and healing can begin for the body of the earth. When we go home and take care of ourselves, we heal not only our own bodies and minds, but help the earth as well. So I just really, really want to encourage people to get out into nature. Nature is our, our plants. They're our teachers. They're here to teach us. Nature is here to teach us. And just really honor your body and listen and connect to, you know, the natural world and to actual true health and what that looks like to really focus in on what true health looks like. Hopefully you can hear me. It's getting very windy out. I think it's time to go inside. Anyways, love you all. Bye. <laughs>